Marhaban, this is Dr. Manuel Rich. In this video, I want to explore professional reclassification. I want to do this video because I got a question from someone asking if I have a video step-by-step -step guide on professional reclassification. I answered the person that it is a straight uh, process, but I had to do a video in case someone else wants to know how it works. Okay, what is professional reclassification? Before you do professional reclassification, you've already done your professional classification. Now, reclassification is an update or upgrade to your initial classification. So let's say you, you are an optometrist or a nurse, but initially you were classified as a technician. Now, you did some upgrade courses. Let's say as an optometrist, you had a diploma or you had a BSc, and now you did an upgrade course or studies that qualified you as a doctor of optometry. Now, what you want to do is to move from that technician to a specialist. So how do you do that? You have to apply for professional reclassification. So this professional reclassification changes two things. It will change your rank as a technician to a specialist and also it will change your profession. Okay, So you have to change your rank and you have to change your new profession. So this is how reclassification work. Now, for you to be able to do this reclassification, you already have a Mumaris Plus portal profile. So inside that portal, that is where you have to do all the application. It's the same process, it's the same way you did your class classification. Reclassification is almost the same because uh, you have to resubmit all the documents you were requested initially. Then in this reclassification, you'll be submitting your new qualification and this new qualification must be verified. You have to verify the primary source using data flow. So you'll be submitting this new verified um, qualification with the data flow report in the Mumaris Plus. So let's go and see how it looks like in the Mumaris Plus portal. After logging into your Mumaris, Mumaris Plus account, then come over here, see all this menu here. You go to the service, service area. This is new registration. This is updates, classification, recognition, of CPD hours, issue good standard certificates, new qualification study, and professional certification recognition, issuing training letter, and additional services, then national exam eligibility. So for those that want to update their classification, you do it here, update classification. This is the reclassification uh, part. So you have to do apply. Now you read all these things. As a classified professional practitioner, you can modify your specialty and rank based on obtaining a new qualification. Completing the required experience to modify your professional rank. Removing the restrictions in your previous classification decision. Renewing the validity of your classification decision if it had expired and if you discontinued practice after a previous classification. So this is where you apply for updates. So let's say you are an optometrist or you are a nurse, but you acquired a higher uh, specialty area you updated yourself and you want it to reflect to your rank. Let's say you're an optometrist and you were ranked as a technician, but you want to update it to a specialist. So this is how you go about it. 
Now this is the processes of this service. So first is to click on the apply which we've done, then add all the educational details, sorry, the education details, add work details, add service details, request summary, pay admin fee, review application status, pay service fee, review the final decision. So this is the processes. It's the same with when you were actually applying for uh, classification. So the same um, documents you use when you are applying for classification, that is the same documents you will use here. So the new updates, the new qualification you obtained, you have to do a data flow report, a verification of that uh, new qualification. So let's say you're an optometrist and you want to go for a specialist. So the profession you fall under therapy and rehabilitation, then your rank, you've passed technician, you want to, maybe you were, um, you were a technician before, now be a consultant or senior specialist or a specialist. So you go for a specialist, then once you apply for a specialist, you will see the fee you have to pay. The direct decision fee is 200, evaluation fee is 200, then the exam fee is 200. When you click on apply, then you answer some of these questions. It's a simple and straight process. So it's the same with when you did your professional classification. So every other thing you will meet here is simple. Just make sure you are reading the things you see here, then you progress with it. So the, this one here says, why do you want to apply for reclassification. So when you click here, you will see options. You personally know the reason why you want to do reclassification. So you pick the reclassification. Maybe I have a new qualification. You can choose that. Does SCFHS qualification list include your qualification? You can say yes. You can say no. So once you keep answering this, you keep moving forward so this is how you will do it you, you get to a place where you upload your documents your new documents and make the payment all right so i hope this will guide you i can't proceed beyond this place because i am not applying for reclassification so follow this guideline you will be able to scale through all right any other thing you want to do this is how you get through it so So you go to the services, exam is where you will see your exam scores after you've written your exam, certificates, you've acquired and all those things. All right.